Have you ever wondered why the moon turns red during a lunar eclipse, creating the magical blood moon? The answer lies in a phenomena called Rayleigh scattering. During a total lunar eclipse, the earth comes directly in between the sun and the moon. Now you'd think that the earth's shadow would make the moon completely dark, right? But instead the moon glows red. Do you know why? The answer is because of Rayleigh scattering. When the sunlight enters earth atmosphere, it gets scattered by air molecules. Shorter wavelengths, blue and violet, they scatter more. It is because of this our sky looks blue during the daytime. But the longer wavelengths, that is red and orange, scatter less, so they travel farther. Now you are thinking, sir, you are explaining why the sky looks blue. The same logic applies to why the moon looks red during the lunar eclipse. During lunar eclipse, sunlight passes from Earth's atmosphere reaching towards the moon. Our atmosphere filters out the blue light and the violet light. It bends and scatters so we see the dark sky as blue. But by the time the light reaches the moon, only red and orange is left out. So the reddish light and orange light manages to slip through the Earth's atmosphere and falls on the moon's surface. That is why the moon looks red and we call it blood moon. To put it in simple words, why does the dark sky look blue? It's because of Rayleigh scattering of shorter wavelength light. Why does the moon look red during the lunar eclipse? Because only longer red wavelength reaches the moon through Earth's atmosphere. So next time when you see a blood moon, remember it's our atmosphere painting the moon red with the magic of Rayleigh scattering.